So what we're going to go through today is a similar task to what we're going to be tasked with overseas in Undal. We're going to go through a simulated route search. If we find anything, um, we will isolate right up to the device and it will hand over to the EOD officer. Our pre-deployment training ongoing here in the Glen of Amal, where we bring the unit together. It's a unit consisting of personnel from infantry, cavalry, engineers, ordnance, communications, medical, and to ensure that all those capabilities are working uh, closely as a team, everyone's familiar with each other and how they operate. We've come here to conduct this period of training for two weeks. Are you uh, prepared for uh, rain like this or is it something that's the, yeah, as we were coming out, we were discussing the, the weather uh, in the happy and the knowledge that we're going out during the spring and the summer. But the benefits for us in training is it's, it's hard, it's robust, it's demanding. Units need uh, within our group have to work extremely hard to make sure that they're capable of achieving their mission in this kind of weather. And that brings them together, gives them confidence, uh, de develops resilience, determination, all those characteristics are essential to ensure that we cope with the demands of our future deployment. Now we understand that things are, are, have been uh, quite dangerous of, of late in the wider Middle East. Is that something that, that was concerning? Where we have the most up-to-date information of what, how the situation is developing. Our capabilities, our training, our preparation equips us extremely well to deal with these uh, evolving threats and puts us in a very good position to achieve our mission and support the international community in ensuring that the area of separation between Syrian Arab Republic and Israel is kept stable and secure for world peace. 